I'm getting ready to do another quill work project. Got a couple knives here that I made. Got one out of a Fort Hood and one out of a kind of a lace and vacuolite. Uh, we've got some more deer sinew thread. Got a pretty good uh, bunch of it made up. Uh, got our dyed uh, porcupine quills. Uh, once again, this is a porcupine got locally, and uh, I dyed them myself. Uh, just wanted to touch on something I noticed when I'm dyeing the quills this time was uh, not all quills when you dye them do they dye the same. They, the, looking at the yellow ones you have here, you notice some of them almost turned orange, and the rest of them are yellow, and some are in between. Here's Here's one that's kind of a, got some yellow towards the tip and the rest of it's uh, orange. So it, it doesn't all dye the same. Some of it may be that the, the quills were, some quills were older and some were just new quills on the porcupine and they die differently. It is, I, I don't know, there's different potential reasons. Uh, I dyed the colors not showing up good here with the light, but this is all one batch of porcupine quills that I dyed this mess and I've sorted these out this section has a lot of a kind of a pink pink purple in it this has just a few kind of pinkish in it and then this is almost pure black uh, using a grape color uh, same thing with the blue I've got kind of a light turquoise and a darker turquoise but it was all the same batch uh, when I put them in to dye them so so doing that uh, I came up with a couple designs here uh, just throwing these together you can use all different uh, possible combinations just a real basic one but I've got to uh, show any of the yellow ones here I've got this little handful of yellow left so I was wanting to incorporate the, the yellow into my design so I thought I'd go with go with this uh, particular design using some natural porcupine quill will be white then using the red ones and then uh, using the blue, I've got a little darker blue here than the lighter blue, kind of mixing the two different uh, turquoise colors, and then back to the red, and then having a row of the black, or the near black, and work that into my design. Didn't get my color dark enough on this, but uh, on this one, basically, I'm going to use the pink, pink slash uh, the purple uh, from here, three quarters of the way up, and I'm going to do that on the, the darker blade. So it'll start here roughly to right at this uh, period and then go with a little darker and then end up with uh, the very dark and on the end and then work a band of the the red in right next to the end should give it a neat color uh, for the lighter blade the navaculite I'm going to go with with this uh, design and, and work it in and be a little more interesting because you got to watch your distances as you're putting this together to know how much blue before you start into your colors to try and make sure that you've got it evenly spaced all the way through I want to try and end up with my yellow somewhere right in here because the end will be uh, right in here so I'll go from here to here so the yellow will be right in here uh, the first the first one that uh, of course you've already had a, had a video on it I just went from the red and then I staggered from the red white red white and then ended up with the white and it ended up okay. It wasn't quite what I was uh, thinking that it would end up. I thought it would kind of blend together more, but the the quills were long enough that it was pretty long, long gaps. But still looks nice. But I had another one that uh, I put this together. This is just regular white navaculite. Started with the white, went to the yellow, and then went to the orange, and then went to the red, and it kind of all blends blends in color change wise so turned out to uh, turned out pretty nice so anyway we'll get started on uh, uh, the bat the lace navaculite and the fort hood and work on these all right we're set up you ready to start we got the quills soaking in in our water got our knife I got the blade covered with just a piece of uh, paper towel just to keep it from getting nicked and whatnot is working and then uh, got our string tied on and we're ready to uh, start quilling
in there first. And get this moose so you can see it. Get that showing up good. There's our first uh, quill. Now I'm not going to show show everything, but I'll go ahead and start uh, working these in. When I get up to about as far as I can I can reach comfortably, about eight ten inches, that's when I'll take take it off the loop part and I'll start wrapping it around the knife handle and show you how I keep working it in. So I'll go ahead and get about eight inches on here and, and get back with you. Okay, we've got about ten inches of a uh, of finished quill work. So what we're gonna do now we're gonna go ahead and start wrapping it around the handle. Right in here, bring it up as far as we can, and then we'll take the the leather strap that I've got around my uh, belly, uh, wrap it around the knife, and and use that to hold it, and that'll bring it closer. It won't, I won't have to reach as far. Okay, we got about two and two and a half wraps around the handle, right up to here. Now we can go ahead and we got room that we can reach. It makes it easy to reach, and we'll extend it up to here. We're going to go ahead and. Continue with uh, what we've got and take it up to right in here, then it will change and go to the little bit darker. So we're just a little over halfway. Let's see what it's looking like. Uh, went ahead and put the little darker quills in, letting them soak in warm water, and we'll start wrapping some more. Okay, we're about three quarters of the way. Uh, I'm going to bring the black up around maybe one more one more row of black or the darker and then I'm getting ready to put the I think I'm going to go with two rows of red I believe I've got uh, I've got enough red I'm going to go with two rows of red and then one or maybe two rows of, of the dark again on top of that but we'll keep going okay got enough uh, of the dark now. This is the back of the blade. We've got enough on here now that when we wrap it around, it'll wrap around the front, it'll come about to the middle of the back, and then we'll start uh, our two rows of red, and then we'll go to black again. Okay, there's our two two rows of red. You can see we started right here and came around. We already come around once. Now we've got enough to take it around again to the back. So that'll give us two rows of our red and now we'll just uh, we'll go back to the darker and finish up with uh, maybe two rows. I'll see what it looks like as I as I bring it up. Then let's uh, we'll be done with this knife. Okay, here we've got uh, got all our quills on. So we'll go ahead and uh, I'll finish wrapping the top with some sinew to to hold everything in. But uh, turned out pretty good. Well, there's the. The finished blade turned out uh, pretty good. If we can zoom in there a little on the quill work, but uh, quill work turned out pretty good. I don't know if this shows up. Maybe the I'll take a picture of it in a little bit and it'll show up better. But you can definitely see the the lighter color in here, and then it rolls to the darker in the back. So I think it turned out pretty good. We'll start working on the second one now.